on the other hand, Robert said, I mean, he was behind the the Klang Bronze, which is the B15 material. And he really believed in this material. And it was not, he, he wanted, didn't find, wanted to find a substitute for the Formula 600, 602. He wanted to go a step further. And, and for me, honestly speaking, I'm a big fan of Formula, but I think that the most people don't understand how precious the B8, B15 is in the end. Because for me, it's best, best of both worlds. On the one side, you have the B8 material, which has this wonderful cut through in the high frequencies, very good for rock, punk, brass music. Yeah. Or you have the Formula 602 with a lot of middle, like a, like a hi-fi jazz symbol. But B15 gives both. It has the, the nice cutting through frequency, but also a lot of middle. And this is what Robert wanted to develop. And so he was at that stage not interested at all what happens to the B20 material. Yeah, I mean, at that uh, stage, I mean, you, you wrote it in your article. I mean, they wanted to do a complete change of the company. And like then the, B20, the B15 came and they had massive problems with the, with the material because it was not easy. I mean, I mean, you know that Sin doesn't like to be in copper and till yeah. B12, it's easy. But from B12 on, it's difficult. And they had a, a rolling mill called Kova Huti. It's in, in Czechoslovakia or Romania. This is where the first uh, signature line symbols were made. Oh, it wasn't made at, at, uh, at Weilenwerks? No, they were made at Kova Hute in, in Czechia. And they had massive problems with cracking symbols. And you heard that definitely too. Um, in the beginning, the first symbols, they had massive problems. And um, they realized that in the first year. And so they went to Wielandworks and said, look, we have this new material. And uh, Kovahute is not getting anywhere. We have massive uh, problems with our customers. So Wielandworks had to change a lot of things on it and in the end found then a, a formula to produce it without this cracking problem they had in the beginning so the first series i don't think i, I doubt that there are many of of the first series around because they had really problems and this gave gave them a really bad reputation in the beginning but wieland works sorted it out and um i've actually witnessed the process of doing it and um, they actually get the the blanks out of uh, Birmingham it's Wieland works Birmingham in England because, yes that's that's where the second hot temperature stage is at Wieland works they don't have it in Ulm in Föhring they don't have the second stage so they get these planks which are around uh, four centimeters thick, maybe big okay. planks. They get them from, from uh, Birmingham into Furringen. And I saw it with my own eyes. They have a, 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 a manual press and it says Karlsruhe, uh, German uh, city of Karlsruhe, 1901. This is when this press is built. And you have four workers who are rolling this material in this manual press like like 200 years ago and it's really hard work to get this massive bar through this roll and, and this so is they, and this is cold they don't heat it they, this is cold i mean it, it comes as a perfect material but then it's much too thick and so they roll it and the only uh, mill that is uh, can do that in the works is this old from 1901 and and, and, and and they and it's a bar that they roll out. It's not. It's, 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 no, it's a it's a it's it's, it's a plank. It's like uh, two meters on on two meters. Okay, so it's a big sheet. That would a be like sheet. Six it's feet a big like sheet, six. and it's rolled through, and and like like the four guys, that two guys are pushing it through, and then the other guys just getting it from the other side and pushing it back through, and goes wow, wow, wow. Wow. Do they rotate it? Do they rotate it ninety degrees? No, no, no. So it's it's so it's rolled in one direction. Yes, 
And um, this process um, makes it thinner, but on the, on the surface, it makes a lot of little cracks, making it thinner. So they have to grind off like 40% of the material on both sides. I mean, like 20% on, on, on the top, 20%. And this is what makes this material so bloody expensive. Because you have, you have 40% of loss of the material. And this is why it's so expensive, the, the, the material. If you, have a, if, you, if you have a B20, you only can develop a B20 when you heat up, the, you roll it, with, or you heat it up, you roll it, and after that you have to heat it up a couple of times again. So you need, in the, in the process, in the machinery, you need this second temperature stage. You need, in the, like, if you have a machine, you have one stage, and to make it um, automatically, you need the second stage. Uh, with the B20, you have to heat it up also a second time, but you don't need in the machine, in the whole rolling mill you don't need a second stage but it's very complicated and i don't I'm, I'm not sure as i as far as i know and what robert told me and other guys who worked at paiste um was cover as i told you from czechoslovakia mm -hmm. they were the ones who developed the, the, the klang bronze together with paiste b15 and they just didn't succeed and so they had in the beginning a lot of quality issues and then they went to Wieland with the material and said look this is what Kovohut did and um, we are not happy what the outcome is and then they changed some processes and then they started to produce it at Wieland. So just just so I'm clear and for what I remember the last time we spoke um, I remember you tell me about when Weiland did uh, the the analysis on the Zildjian symbols, they found inconsistencies in the mixture of the tin and copper and differences in the hardness because of that. So I would assume that the Czech company, I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, they had the same problem with B15. The, the B15s were cracking, the signatures were cracking because the mixture wasn't consistent enough throughout the symbol you would have various I don't, know, I, don't know what, cracking. I don't think that that was the problem probably it was too to dry or to let me look up the word you think it was temperature related that they didn't yeah something something that did not get perfect like they later did on wieland when uh Spreuder. to brittle to crisp to brittle okay so this is why the, the cracking happened. It was not smooth enough. So it, it was brittle. And then after playing it for a while, it cracked. And so they, I mean, this is the, the, the important thing. And this is what you find on old K symbols, that they are very soft and smooth. And I mean, there are a lot of discussions about secrets. I mean, I heard the other day that um, originally the old Turkish Symbol Smith, they put some arson in it that to make it softer. Oh, ar arsenic. Yeah. So which explains that a lot of these symbol makers at the ancient day died very, very early. Wow. Because they, this is what, what a symbol maker from Munich told me, that they made research on old um, Turkish symbols and found out that they have a high de a degree on, on arsenic on it, in it. And this could be one of the secrets to make it smooth and, and work. And Interesting. I've, I mean, I've actually, I've, I haven't been to the works at, at Birmingham. So I, I I only saw the sheets coming to Wieland to Furringen. Okay. Where they then rolled it, but I've never seen the spoon. But I know that it's not the same. It's not as complicated in the in the in the rolling mill. So, um, but it's not that it, it I mean, with B8, it, it, it automatically melts together. But you'd have to do a couple of different steps. And um, I reckon that Wieland wouldn't tell me what kind of steps they are doing to, to do that. I think this is a secret. Yeah. yeah. It's for Paiskem. Why are there no signature symbols larger than 22? Why can't Paiste make a 24-inch signature symbol? 
assume two two things. The one thing is because I told you that it came comes as sheets. Um, so in a different way than the sheets of of the B B eight. So possibly it could be. I mean, you could probably do one. 124 or 224 of one in one sheet but you would have a lot of uh waste, uh, waste. so yeah. probably the maximum is that you have two you cut two 22 out but it wouldn't be 224 so i think that this would be one possibility okay. the other thing is what you said i mean the signature line was never meant as a heavy metal hard rock uh, whatever symbol. So, twenty-four is a real big bastard, and I mean, it's really loud and heavy hitters. And I think that basically, you're looking for a, a, a B8 bronze to have this sort of sort of cutting through, uh, very noisy bell cutting through type of thing. And so, probably it is not. Not really the goal for the signature line series, but I will, I will check.